Hey guys, it is Fancy Girl Faces, and I am here with another video. Yay! First, before we do anything, before we get into anything, I want to first show you guys this beautiful headpiece. This gorgeous, beautiful headpiece that I got from Zara. Um, I got it from, at the suggestion or the influence of a vlogger that I love to follow and I love to watch her videos. Her name is Jeremica, uh, Jeremica Mycel, but you can call her G, like she always says. She was wearing this in one of her videos. When I saw it, I loved it. I said I had to have this. So I got it from Zara. Um, I don't see it on their website at this time, um, but I, I did grab it up. They have others because I, I'll show you the one that I purchased. It's it's coming. But um, yeah, I, I love this. I mean, it's extremely sturdy. I don't know if you can hear that. <clears throat> you hear that? And then, then it has these beautiful stars here. And once the sun hits it, it just sparkles. I mean, it's like a crown. I love it. So we're gonna give um, we're gonna give uh, thanks to this. Thank you, Jeremy, uh, Jeremica. Thank you, G. Thank you. Yes, this is absolutely gorgeous. So I wanted to share that first before we did anything else. So back to the video. <laughs> This is going to be a really, really good video, um, a, a different video from what you guys are accustomed to seeing me do. So today we are going to talk about um, purses. So obviously this is a beauty channel. A lot of the stuff that you've seen me, seen me do is me going to MAC, working at MAC, um, doing makeup, but I also want to touch on other things that I like talking about, which is style, fashion, um, food, restaurants, travel, things like that. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. It's going to be about affordable purses. Now, I don't know about you, but I love to watch different um, YouTubers, different uh, uh, vloggers uh, share and talk about the products that they have uh, purchased, the luxury items that they purchased. Um, and although those things are really, really pretty and beautiful, um, we want to kind of take into account that the collective of us out here in the world cannot afford those things. And um, the only uh, vlogger or YouTuber that I've seen um, talk about uh, still being fly and still looking good and not having to spend a whole lot of money. I cannot remember her name. I cannot remember her name, but I'm going to remember her name before the end of this video. Before before this stunt, this is through, I'm going to find her name and I'm going to mention her in this video. And I like to watch her as well because she brings up a lot of good points. Everyone can't afford or want to pay the prices that a lot of these luxury brands are asking for. Praise God, honey, if you are one of those women that are able to afford the Chanel's and the Gucci's of the world, but the majority of us are not able to do that. And it kind of feels a way when you have um, influencers either on social media or YouTube showing you these items when the collective of people just you know can't afford that. So you still want to look good, you still want to look fly, and so we today are going to discuss a middle ground. And that middle ground is not too high, not too low, because some people uh, don't mind getting knockoffs. Um, I'm not opposed to that. Um, however, that's not what we're going to be discussing today. This is not going to be about getting knockoffs or things that resemble those products. We're going to be talking about uh, purses and brands that I don't see anybody talking about. Um, I don't see anybody really pushing to the forefront. So this really is for women that are within that middle range. Um, and so we're gonna bring out a few purses, um, several purses um, that are within that middle range that I think the majority of us can afford. So um, one of those purses um, I have here is the Carl Langerfield. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. I didn't take this off, so this is not an unboxing, this is an unwrapping. 
So uh, let's take this off here, John. Yeah, I got this um, from Macy's. Um, I got it on sale. So the retail price for this is was like two forty eight, but I got it, and I think it was fifty percent off. So that would mean I paid maybe one thirty for it, not including tax. But this is a beautiful purse. Look at this. Look at the color. Look at the colors on that. That is absolutely beautiful. Let me bring it up close so you guys can see. Take a look at the sides. Absolutely beautiful. Blue is one of my favorite colors. I don't know if it's really picking up in the camera. The back is black. The other side is blue. And the bottom of it is blue. That is absolutely gorgeous. There is no zipper. So I, I left the stuffing in there uh, to kind of keep the form and shape of the purse. But as you can see inside, it's basically going to be the same thing here as well. So let me take that out, the stuffing out so you can see. I have not worn it as of yet, but I will be wearing it. So you can see you can put a lot of stuff in there. And there's a zipper in the middle here very roomy purse look at that very roomy purse I do not see a lot of people talking about um, this brand he is a, a high-end designer he is a luxury designer but he also made uh, purses for um, the average woman something that was um, affordable there is a um, strap that goes with it as well and I and I like this I like this strap coach has similar strapping as well you can place that let's see right in here I don't know if you can see that hook you have one hook here and then you have the other hook And you can either, you know, wear it like this. Wear it like this, handheld. Or you can put this on, use it as a, a, a crossbody. Uh oh, use it as a crossbody. And um, you know, have it, have it hanging down. But this is absolutely gorgeous. An absolutely gorgeous back. I'm going to bring that forward so you guys can see. Absolutely gorgeous. My clicker fell, child. But yeah. Just beautiful. I'm going to have another video of me actually wearing it. So this is the thing. I'm, I normally wear for, for, for purses that I'm just going to be showing you. Um, I normally am going to be wearing all black. So... I, the canvas becomes muted, so your focus and attention can be placed on the purse. So I'm not going to be styling it with uh, outfits or anything like that. Right now, our focus is just the purses, so I'm just going to show you a video of me uh, styling the purse in a variety of different ways that you can wear it. I mean, this is a really beautiful summer bag. It, I think it's an all-year-round bag, so... We don't have, um, uh, 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 what, what would you call it? Like um, weather changes here. So I, I live in Miami, so we don't have weather changes here. There's no winter, there's no spring, there's no autumn, there's no, it's summer, it, it's hot, it's humid all year round. So this here, you can pretty much wear this with anything, anything, anything. Absolutely gorgeous. On to the next one.
our next item in our affordable bag uh, video is a bag that I picked up from a friend who was um, selling them. Um, and you know, I wanted to support her business, so I decided to buy one. So when I bought the first one, I was like, oh, this is really cute. And then I saw that she had another one that was a different color, and I had to get that too. Look how beautiful that is. Tell me that's not beautiful. Tell me that is not cute. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Cute, 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 cute. Cute as a button. Cute as a button. You have your straps inside. The stuffing to kind of keep the form of the uh, of the purse. You can get your phone in there. You can get your wallet in there. You can get your lipstick in there, your compact in there, your brushes in there, your hand sanitizer in there. I mean, this is a very, very cute bag. A really cute bag. And the color, um, with the tan and the pink, this pretty much can go with anything. And it's really small, it's really cute. Handheld. I prefer to hold my uh, bags. I don't particularly care for crossbody too much. But this is one. And this is two. Look at this. I wore this. I don't have a picture of it. I wish I had a picture, but I don't. I wore this to a graduation. A, a little, uh, like a kindergarten uh, graduation. It was absolutely... I, and I wore a... a a um oh what did I wear? It was a blue dress, blue mid-length dress that came down a little past the knees. I wore tan um tan heels and this bag. And the blue in in this purse and the blue in the purse that I wore just set things off so nicely. It was so cute. Same thing with this. Let me show you the inside. Looks exactly the same way on the inside. It does come with um, a crossbody strap if that's what you're into. And if you did, I had a lot of room to place my phone, to place my wallet, uh, to place uh, lipstick if I wanted to, you know, freshen up my makeup or anything like that. I mean, it is really, really cute. Um, her name is Maya Francois. I told her that, that that is a gorgeous name. I told her that that name needs to be on somebody's billboard somewhere. She needs to be she needs to have a boutique someplace selling her her her, her stuff because this was too cute. Look at this. Look at these two. Look at these two. Aren't they cute? They are beautiful. And if you say they're not cute, I'm gonna fight you. What's up? But yes, they are cute. They are really, really, really cute. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. I don't know if you hear that, but the 4th of July is over, but people are still popping um, fireworks. I wish they'd stop, but you know. Back to the purses. Gorgeous, gorgeous. On to the next one. Okay, so that 
purse was a beauty. So I forgot to mention, um, she does not have a website. I've just purchased those bags off of her. So she was selling some bags um, and uh, I just purchased them off of her. She does not have a website. Um, I'm going to ask her if it's, oh, by the time I post this video, I'm going to ask her if it's okay for me to give out her, um, Instagram information. So if anyone is interested in purchasing those bags, because she has a lot of different style bags that she sells, she's not a designer. She's just selling, uh, she, she has access to these bags and then, you know, she sells them. Uh, so she's got a, uh, mini boutique that she's starting. But like I said, she doesn't have a website, so I'm going to find out from her if it's okay if I give her contact information. And anybody that's interested, you guys can DM her and purchase any one of those beautiful purses. So moving on, we have another beauty, and that is another Carl Lagerfeld. I hope I'm pronouncing this man's name uh, correctly. If I'm not, please forgive me. We have another Carl Lagerfeld purse. What you got to say about that? Look at this. Let me move in. Look at this. A denim purse. You have the fringes here. These beautiful pearl accents. Turn my clicker keep drama. These beautiful pearl accents. Look at that. I don't know if the camera is picking that up, but this is absolutely beautiful. I love this style. Look at this. And also look at the, um, the straps on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Look at that. Beautiful, look at this. This can be worn in pretty much anything. Anything. You can dress this up. You could dress this down. I think it's more of a casual bag, but you can definitely, definitely get away with wearing this to go out uh, for lunch, brunch, dinner, snack, date night with, a, with your guy, girls night out with your girls, whatever occasion you want to wear this purse for, this purse is it. Let me show you. Of course, it's got stuffing in it. I have worn this purse. Um, I'm going to try to find a picture uh, to post in this video. If I don't post it in this video, it's going to be somewhere on my social media somewhere. But um, I always keep uh, paper or stuffing, I like to say, in the purses to basically keep the shape of the purse so it always stays in its natural uh, shape. So I got the stuffing in there. So we're gonna take the stuffing out real quick. I don't think the strap is long enough to do um, any kind of like a, like a crossbody or anything like that. I think this is strictly just handheld. There you have the dust, the, the dust bag in there. Look at there. You can get lots of stuff in here. Your, your wallet. Another compartment. Your wallet. You can get your wallet in there. Any makeup you want to get in there. Any hand, san any hand sanitizer you want to get in there. Breath mints you want to get in there. Hand lotion you want to get in there. You won't be able to get it in there. This is big enough to this is big enough to, to 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 carry all of that. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Let me button her back up so you can see. Gorgeous. Um, I cannot remember how much this retailed for. I got this from Macy's. Again, I got this on sale. So the first purse that I showed you, uh, the multicolored purse that was on sale 50% off. This was also on sale from Macy's. Um, it was not 50% off. I think it might have been 30 because uh, sometimes Macy's has friends and family. And I think that's when I purchased this. I purchased this purse during the friends and family sale. So I believe it was either 25% off or it was 30% off. But either way, it was not um, full price. So like I said, you don't have to spend a whole lot. You don't have to spend a whole lot in order to go ahead and um, uh, look nice to purchase uh, purses, purses of quality. And um, 
I mean, it looks really, really good. Really, 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 really good. You can wear this anywhere, anywhere and in anything. Oh my gosh. So, 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 so beautiful. So, so beautiful. When I saw it, I knew that I had to have it. It was so gorgeous, and in my opinion, it was different. I like things that are different. I'm not really a big on, well, you know what? I'm not gonna say I'm not a trendy person because I, I, I do watch and see you know, what's out there, but at the same time, I base my purchases off of weird to say but I base my purchases off of an emotional connection to that item so for example I was walking in the mall in the purse section at Macy's um, I think I was exiting um, uh, make exiting through Macy's and I happened to turn and they're kind of out in these purses and other other purses were kind of out in the front in the um, like where the walkway is and so when I glanced and I saw it, I was like, oh, that's pretty, that's different. Oh, I like this. So I walked over, I examined it, I looked at it. I really, really liked this purse. I had an immediate reaction to the purse and therefore by that immediate reaction, I knew that that was going to be a good buy and a good purchase. Now, let me just say this. I'm not a resale person. So when I purchase an item, I'm purchasing it because I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to wear it. I'm not interested in uh, the resale value. So as far as these purses are concerned, I doubt that there is a resale value on them. But the purses are really cute. They are affordable. I think this one was also in the same range as the first uh, Carl purse, which was like $248, $250. I think this was in that same realm. But like I said, again, I got it on... Um, Macy's uh, friends and family so therefore I did not pay full price for it so I paid 30% um, off from whatever 30% off is from 250 that's what I paid for it so to me in my opinion that was a good buy um, you can definitely wear this with pretty much anything like I said at the beginning I'm just wearing black I'm not styling any of these purses um, I want the purse to speak for itself. I want the purse to stand out on its own. I'm, I don't want to style it at this time, so that's why I'm wearing black. So therefore, me being the canvas, I'm kind of blacked out. There's nothing there. I want the focal point to be um, the purse. And this is a beautiful purse. It's a beautiful choice if you decide to get it. They are still at Macy's. You can go to your local Macy's and pick one up if you so desire, but this purse is absolutely beautiful. I love denim. I love the color of denim, especially this shade. I like dark, but anything blue, blue and green are my favorite colors. So anything that is blue, I'm gonna instantly be attracted to it. And this was one of them. Those, those pearl accents are just absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. On to the next. Our next item is Rebecca Minkoff. I purchased this beautiful bag from The Real Real. Now, this is what I want to say about that. Um, if, if you got it like that, 
where money's not an issue for you, um, great. Two thumbs up. Um, and you can afford to go directly to um, these uh, boutiques, the Chanel boutique, it store, the Gucci store, all of that good stuff. If you can afford to purchase bags straight from those stores, great. If you are, or, or if you are adamant about purchasing um, high-end or luxury items, um, especially uh, purses, um, but you don't have it like that, what I would suggest that you do is find consignment stores that have what you're looking for. So I like to shop or look at lots of items from a variety of different uh, places. I like the real real. Um, I also like, um, I cannot pronounce it, so I'm going to say, I'm going to spell it B E S T I A R E. If I'm not mistaken, if that's not the correct spelling, I'm sure someone will correct me. Um, but I like that website as well. Um, I find that. Fetch, F-E-T-C-H, is a little high. Um, I also like um, Depop. And there is another one. There is another one. And I cannot think of it right now. And as soon as I finish this video, it's going to pop right into my head. If, if, if I think of it, I'll put it down in the description. But... Um, I like bright colors. I'm a bright color girl. I I, 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 I like that. I'm not muted. Um, so I like stuff that pops. And this popped at me. She popped at me. She left, bop! And I was like, oh, I like you. Come, come to me. And I got her. I got her. Um, now, I said earlier that I'm not a fan of crossbody uh, uh, purses but I'm a fan of hers. This is real leather, real leather. I'm not sure if Rebecca Minkoff is what you would call high end, but the, of the few purses that I have purchased um, uh, from the real real that are Rebecca Minkoff, I've been satisfied with. I've been absolutely satisfied with. They've been beautiful purses. Uh, how I have styled them, they've gone with my wardrobe I have a photo of me in all black with a, a, a beautiful blue Rebecca Minkoff um, purse absolutely gorgeous and like I told you blue is my favorite color one of my favorite colors it was absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and this is no exception I like this it, it, this is orange this here is fabric I don't know if you you know can see that but this here this is fabric very, very nice. And all of this, all of this is leather. I can smell, as I'm holding this bag, I'm just smelling the leather. I love the way leather smells. There's some people that do not like the smell of leather. I am not one of those people, honey. I love the smell of leather. Let me tell you, that's how I know when something is leather. Because leather has a specific smell to it. And I... Don't mind me, child, but I love that smell. This is a beautiful purse. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is not stuffed. Um, it's not stuffed. However, it has managed to keep its shape, which I'm really proud of. So let me make sure. All right, let me see. Okay. So lots of space, lots of room. Her tag is in there. You, I think, does she have another compartment? Yeah, there's another compartment. It's, it's, you can't see it. You probably can't see it because it's, it's black inside. But there's a zipper. You can see that zipper there. There's, oh, there you go. Put more room, more room, more stuff. The more room you got, the more stuff you can put in. And this, this purse is like stiff. I mean, it, it, 
it's not a flimsy purse it's not a purse that you know it's kind of floppy and you know it kind of does its own thing it kind of does this dance and you have to form it by putting more stuff in it for it to kind of take form this is all this is structured this is already in the shape that it's in okay i like structured bags so bags that you see me with more times than not are going to be structured um i believe that no matter the price of the purse whether it is high end where it costs thousands of dollars or like the the little the small little purses that i showed you um earlier um that were fifty dollars a, a, a piece it's structured so when purses are structured it gives a very classy classical uh appearance to it it makes it look expensive even though the purse may not actually be expensive it gives the illusion that the purse is, is um expensive especially when it you know it has that that structure uh to it absolutely beautiful absolutely absolutely beautiful i love this purse i've worn this purse um to dinner um you can style this purse any way you want to you can listen the chain on here look at that absolutely gorgeous you can style a purse any way you want to. It doesn't have to be, oh, you can dress it up. Well, you can. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Um, unless we're talking about an evening, a specific, an evening uh, purse, most purses can be dressed up and dressed down. So you can do anything you want with this purse. You can wear all white with this. I would not suggest you wear all orange with this, even though you could if you wanted to. You don't, you know, you don't have to listen to me. Um, but I would break this up with something else. You can either do black with this. You can either do white with this. You can do a beige with this. You can do a brown with this. You could do a tan with it. So there are a lot of different ways that you can style and wear um, this purse. But don't sleep on the real real because if you don't have the cash to be able to go to these high-end places, you can still get designer purses from a lot of these consignment stores. It's going to be secondhand. Sometimes, sometimes it's brand new. Sometimes the person purchases these items and for whatever reason, it didn't work out for them. They didn't like it or they had a change of heart and they could not return it. So they put, they, they put those purses and other items, you know, other cl uh, clothing items, shoes, et cetera, et cetera, hats, et cetera, et cetera, on these uh, uh, consignment websites. And you just might be the lucky person to luck up on something and get something that you really, really like. You didn't have to pay a whole lot of money for, and you know, you you feel good because oh i got me a luxury item too mm, 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 right yeah so keep that in mind when you're shopping okay beautiful just beautiful Okay guys, so that is it for this round of affordable styled purses. Remember, 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 remember. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I mean, you can if you want, you can if you want. Um, I'm not there yet. I'm not, that's not to say that, you know, if I ever come in, 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 in contact with, 
um, large sums of money where it would not hurt me in order to purchase some of these luxury brands that I may not indulge, maybe sometime in the future, but you know, not right now, but right now I think it's important to showcase affordable items. You know, right now things are tough for a lot of us. Uh, gas prices are up, food is up, rent is up, mortgage is up, and a lot of us are just not in that financial that that financial bracket to be able to afford, you know, a lot of these things that our favorite influences influencers, sorry, are is showing us. And you know, people want to be included women want to feel like they're beautiful they you know they don't want to get left behind they want to be seen as fly as well they want to you know show how 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 well put together they are and you know you should feel good about that but you know to spend the amount of money that a lot of these uh, brands are charging um, you know can put anybody in kind of like a mental funk and we don't want to do that we want to show or at least i want to show an alternative so you don't have to be under any kind of pressure to purchase items that you really truly cannot afford just to either stunt on instagram or stunt to people who really don't really like you anyways or you know act like you got it when in fact you know, so let me, let's get in the habit. Let me, let you, let all of us get in the habit of showing more affordable brands that still look good. You can still accomplish the, the same kind of look. It's just not going to be at that particular price point. So you don't have to, there's a middle ground, right? There's a middle ground. And that's what I want to focus on. I want to focus on a middle ground. I'm not saying to go and get purses and stuff from AliExpress, you know, which are dirt cheap. You know, those people that choose to do that, that's great. I'm not saying that I've never purchased anything from AliExpress because I have. However, um, there, you, 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 for those of us that want that middle ground, I am here. I'm going to try to make it a point to showcase things that are within the middle. So the majority of us ladies out here um, who like those things, clothing, uh, purses, all those accessories, clothing. I, did, I said clothing already, child. Oh, girl, I'm all over the place. But in any case, for those of us that want a middle ground and want an, want an alternative, that's what I'm here for. Okay. So that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm going to be coming to you with a lot more stuff. Um, I got a surprise. I got a few surprises. Um, like I said before, this channel is, um, going to be not only about beauty, not only about travel and food, all the things that I enjoy. It's going to be about other things as well. I'm going to be doing other things as well because I want you guys to really get the most out of my channel. I enjoy um, uh, doing this. Um, I'm new at this and I know with more experience, I will get better. Um, and the channel will get better and hopefully it will grow. You guys will grow with me. Um, don't be afraid to leave a comment, share, subscribe. I'm trying to build my followers. I really, really enjoy vlogging. I really enjoy YouTubing. So this is fun to me. Child, I'm babbling. But in any case, this is, uh, uh, I'll come to you again with another video. Maybe talking about this, maybe talking about something else. But all in all, I had a really good time with you guys and I hope you did too. So I'm going to see you guys later and have a good day. Uh, 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 uh.